TSCT network password. Your TSCT network password is an important piece of information that only you should know. You set up this password, you make it secure, that way no one else can ever use your account to do something. There are occasions where uh, people do something in uh, not right on the Stevens campus and their account is locked out. You do not want to lend them your password for a little bit so they can use it. Always make sure your password is secure. Now, we have given you some of the details, like you have already set up your password. You know that your password must be eight characters or more. That you know that you have to have three out of the four things that we have listed here, at least a letter, a number, a lowercase, or an uppercase character. Uh, there's four things there. You have to include three of these in your password. So you've already done that and set that up. When you set new passwords up, they have to be unique they're going to expire when you pick a new one. They can't be the same as your old one. They keep a history of the passwords. So you always have to have another one to go to. Your password is set up to expire every 90 days. It can be changed from on campus or it can be changed from home now. Um, we're going to make a suggestion that every time you leave the campus for an extended period of time, you probably should change your password before you leave. That way, if, as long as you're not away for 90 days, your password won't expire. The reason for this, uh, you can change your password from home. This is something new for us. But if your password expires while you're at home, you couldn't change it. And therefore, if you change your password before you leave, it will never expire once you're at home. But if you want to change it from home, you can do that now. From on campus, we're not going to show you an example of this, but if you hit the Control alt delete keys, all three of those at once, and you select Change Password, you can enter your old password, then you have to enter your new password, and you have to confirm it. Remember the rules. Uh, they, what, is, what your password has to be uh, consist of three of the four different types of characters, and also remember that you can't choose a password that you used in the recent past because it keeps a history of them. Now, if you're at home, you can actually change your password. We're going to take a look at that very quickly. Here's my email. I'm logged in from home. If I go up here to the options box, I click on options and I select change your password. It will come in here and you'll see a little bit different format box, but the uh, same information that you put in there. You have to type your current password, your new password, and confirm it. And that will change your passwords. And that's all for our topic.